130 years ago, Samuel A. Maverick was rated Texas' largest landowner. Although not a rancher, he once took a herd of cattle in payment of a debt and put them on his place south of San Antonio, where they thrived and multiplied and wandered away. They were not branded, and neighbors said they're mavericks. Today, a maverick still means an unbranded calf or an independent person. A hundred and thirty years ago, Samuel Augustus Maverick was rated Texas' largest landowner. Although not a rancher, he once took a herd of cattle in payment of a debt and put them on his place south of San Antonio, where they thrived and multiplied and wandered away. They were not branded, and neighbors said they're mavericks. Today, a maverick still means an unbranded calf or an independent person. A hundred and thirty years ago, Samuel A. Maverick was rated Texas' largest landowner. Although not a rancher, he once took a herd of cattle in payment of a debt and put them on his place south of San Antonio, where a hundred and thirty years ago, Samuel A. Maverick was rated Texas' largest landowner. Uh, years ago, Samuel A. Maverick was rated Texas' largest landowner. Although not a rancher, he once took a herd of cattle in payment of a debt and put them on his farm south of San Antonio, where they thrived and multiplied and wandered away. Although the... God almighty. A hundred and thirty years ago, Samuel A. Maverick was rated Texas' largest landowner. Although not a rancher, he once took a herd of cattle in payment of a debt and placed them on his farm south of San Antonio. A hundred and thirty years ago, Samuel A. Maverick was rated Texas' largest landowner. Although not a rancher, he once took a herd of cattle in payment of a debt and placed them on his farm below San Antonio, where they thrived and multiplied and wandered away. A hundred and thirty years ago,